everybody, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, we're going to be talking about testing your virtual assistant. So we have our Orlando store, e-commerce, electronics store, uh, virtual assistant up and running. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over on the left-hand side under this testing tab, and I'm gonna walk through each of these three testing options that we have. So the first of which is the utterance testing, right? So essentially what this means is that you can type in an utterance. So uh, I want to see a TV. Right, so this is the product search intent. Hopefully it gets it correct. Search products, it got it correct. We see that there's a definitive match and also probable matches up here, right? So what we can do here is well, we can go through and we can test out a bunch of different stuff, right? So we can say, what is your location? And we can see that this is going through the machine learning model, the fundamental meaning and the knowledge graph. So right here, we see this is a, a definitive match with the knowledge graph and that location came up as the correct intent. Uh, you know, we can do something like, I'd like to place my order and see what happens over here. We can see that it's a definitive match for the machine learning model under place order. So we got that under the ranking and resolver. Um, you know, you can ultimately do a number of different uh, a number of different things. We can do just place order. You can test any any specific utterance that you want to um, <clears throat> that you want to do. Here we see that the fundamental meaning engine is the one that picked it up definitively. Um, so what you can also do is you can save and run these, right? You can also mark them as an incorrect match. So what you can do is make sure that not only are you testing your virtual assistant, but you're also making sure that if it's missing anything, you can save those utterances train it on those utterances and make sure that it's getting smarter over time. You can also take a look at a JSON view. Um, you can also look at the summary. I think that that's pretty easy. Uh, so that is utterance testing, right? Next, we have batch testing. So what we can do here is essentially create our own test suites. We click the upper, the button in the upper right hand corner to create our test suite. So we can say Orlando store tests. Uh, we can give it a description. And then what we can do is we can import all of the test cases in either a JSON or CSV format. So that JSON or CSV file can have, you know, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of different examples that you want to test your virtual assistant on. You can also collect these over time as the virtual assistant is gathering more information and seeing more different uh, queries in production. You can put those into your test suite and make sure that you're doing these batch testing so that you can really see where any of the gaps are, any of the holes are that you want to fill over time. Uh, so that's a little bit about batch testing. And then the final one is conversation testing, right? So essentially what we're going to do here, that just means that we can record this test case. We can say proceed. And essentially what that's going to do, it's going to open up the virtual assistant here. And then you can go through and have an entire conversation with the virtual assistant. So you can, you know, go through the entire flow. You can talk to it about whatever you want. And then up here, what you see is the conversation recording is in progress, right? So you can go through, go through, go through, and you can make sure that your, um, <clears throat> that you're testing the, the virtual assistant. This is more from a user experience perspective, right? This is getting in the seat of the folks who are going to be using these virtual assistants and making sure that that experience, that journey is something that you're delighted with and something that your customers or your users are going to be absolutely delighted with. Then what we can do is we can stop and we can also create a test case here. So once that happens, then it's going to be, you know, a, a JSON format that you can use for future testing down the road. I'm just gonna discard this one for now, but that is a quick overview of the three different types of testing that we have within the Bot Builder platform. This is such a critical, critical step because after you've put all of your time and energy into designing the experience, developing the experience, you wanna make sure that that experience matches up to what your expectations are. 
the testing is such a critical part and we have such a phenomenal uh, testing suite, you can make sure that your virtual assistants are incredibly robust when they're going out to production and that all of your customers are incredibly happy when they're using these virtual assistants. Uh, thank you so much. That's a little bit about testing. Looking forward to our next conversation.